Hello everyone, this is Grayshot17, and today I'm going over a battle group. There are 12 in Company of Heroes 3, and I hope to tackle each and every one of them and kind of go over the strengths and weaknesses for each battle group. Uh, to start off, let's go with the Italian infantry, part of the Africa Corps. Now, I will say it's funny, giving the Italians the probably best battle group in the entire game, in my opinion. Pretty solid stuff, Relic. So let's get to it. Right now, we got uh, field engineering and defensive warfare for this, and right now... Honestly, you probably want to start off on the left-hand side. At two command points, you have the Gustatori squad. Uh, this squad essentially is 400 manpower of pure awesomeness. Sure, it's not immediate like some other call-in units, but the weight is worth it. As it's double flamethrowers, an AT satchel, one at that one, smoke, an ability to run through smoke even faster. Also, since it's an engineer unit, it also can lay down... Uh, bunkers and also defensive works uh, those defensive works can be upgraded with one additional command point is the squad currently worth it y yes yeah absolutely yes the double flamethrower alone with its high health and very strong capabilities against mgs yes and then combine its at and also mines and and other defensive works absolutely it's one of the best units in the game for a reason however if we go into the second part right do you pick defensive operations, which allows Panzer Pioneers and the Gustatori, because technically they are engineers, to build teller mines, tank traps, HMG bunkers, reinforced barbed wire? Is that worth it? Well, if you're going to go like a SimCity-esque situation where you want to lock down territory, yes. However, currently, uh, one of the biggest issues that a lot of people face is the British boys, aka a lot of infantry section grouped up together in tight formations against enemy combatants, where in actuality, I would personally go with the booby traps. The reason I would pick that is very simple. It's 30 munitions and you can put it on any territory that you can control. And if the enemy is blobbing to such an extent, enemy forces that do capture this position will take heavy losses, not just one or two models, but severe losses if they come into it in blob formation. Now you could say, well, gray shot, if they have engineers and British with minesweepers, they could detect it. True. However, there is one catch. Most squads now in the game are revolved around the flamethrowers. So most people with an engineer are going with a flamethrower first thing without second uh, without second thought. So having booby traps laid down could delay them significantly. All right, next we have the howitzer. And while this howitzer is pretty solid at 420 manpower and about, I think it's 40 fuel, um, compared to the Stuka, it's again, less uh, fuel, but more manpower. It does have solid range. Plus it comes with a half track. So medical half track. So if you'd like its position, you can set it up and then send that medical half track to go and help out your front. Now, me personally, I wouldn't necessarily go for the howitzer right after one of these two defenses. And I feel like jumping over to defensive warfare actually would be better for not only holding your territory, but also dealing with some more current threats. Now, some people might immediately go with the L640, First, because it deploys two tanks for, I believe, 440, 450 manpower and about 30, 40 fuel, something like that. But it's rather cheap, all things considered. Uh, honestly, even though I made videos on it detailing how amazing the L6 is at, uh, you know, rushing the enemy base, right now, because of AT boys, that strat's pretty much not really valid and I really don't see this being used at all especially given the fact that the Gustatory squad is so good and people kind of rush over on field engineering first so really you don't see the L640 being used early on and then by the time you do possibly see the unit it's too late it doesn't have the survivability let's say as other Italian tanks or armor so what ends up happening is you probably see hold the line which is actually pretty solid it, it causes the enemy to take so long to capture territory that in a pinch, if you need to hold key territory or even, you know, major strategic points to make sure you stay in the game, this is actually not bad for about 60 munitions. So getting hold of the line over the L640, even though it can be upgraded with flamethrowers and a additional sight lines via the uh, spotting scopes, I would say, honestly, hold the line is better. Even as much as I love the L640 strat, in an actual game where you're trying to win the match, hold the line's probably better, especially in a team play dynamic. And again, that's what this is mainly covering, 3v3 and 4v4. Now, between registered artillery, which causes a nice uh, peppering of artillery, 
or the propaganda war, my bet is propaganda war. Yes, it, both of them are, you know, pushing over 100, 150 munitions, you know. They are more expensive, but the thing about it is propaganda war forced the enemy to immediately retreat. This isn't like propaganda in the last game where it would suppress troops and then maybe cause them to retreat. This guarantees a retreat back to enemy lines, especially when blobbers are a thing. Why have to deal with a blob when you can send it back to base? Whereas this, they could just leave that piece of territory and not be really bothered. Where this kind of just springs in action and can just immediately force them back. So, on uh, my mind, propaganda war, but honestly, registered artillery is okay too. So, either one I think is good depending on what you want to do. Now, we have prepared positions and the 305 millimeter barrage. Not a huge fan of either. I think the barrage is better, in my opinion, because this one, it's. All team weapons and placements have increased line of sight and take less incoming damage. That's fine, especially the fact that this bunker is already pretty sturdy. So, yeah, that's great to make sure that they, you know, can use maximum sight, maximum range for their armaments, and then survive. That's, that's, and it's also passive, so you don't have to use anything. Whereas this requires 250 munitions and is a very heavy strike. If these 305mm barrages do hit armor, yes, it could hurt or even kill, especially damage armor, but... To me, it's not as quite as effective as some of the other artillery that I think of as, for example, the British uh, naval, was it arm and navy? Like that area uh, barrage, I think is way better than this one. This one's still fine, but I think if we're going for usefulness, this would be better for neutralizing enemy fortifications in a region while pushing up rather than uh, really just annihilating everything in there. You, you need to follow up with something in order to make sure you get the kill. So anyway, that's my thoughts. I kind of want to give a grade on each one of these, which I'll try to do here. But yeah, that's my overall decision. It'll be gustatory. Pick between which one of these you want to go. Then switch back. Do hold the line. Go to register artillery or propaganda war. And then switch over to probably the howitzer. And then uh, with the howitzer, yeah, sure. Then you can maybe either get prepared position, especially if you have a lot of defensive bunkers. But again, if you're not really using that and just want to try and neutralize hard points, then I think this 305 is better bang for your buck. That's what I recommend. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. This has been Grayshaw17, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is Grayshaw17. And before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Joey G240, Malab, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyro Shark, Tony B95, Epic Pleb. Thank you all for your incredible support and in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.